Kevra, Shalom Aleichem. Hope everyone's doing well. The Kavad Shabbos Kodesh. The Kavad, the Haley Gechanaka, the Kavad Rosh Hashanah, the Kavad Sarit's wedding on Friday. A lot going on. A Tiel Bashim Kleisra for Pesach, for Uvin Bin Asafa Sarah Brachabas Yehudis, Yonah Bas Basa, Shir Bas Basa, Sinai, Uvin Bin Mani, and every Nisham on Kleisra. Master of the world. Help us follow the path of perfect teshuva at all times, and especially during the holy days of Elul. During this period, our teacher, our teacher Moshe Rabbeinu, opened up a pathway of teshuva for us. This path consists of the two skills of running and returning based on the two main holy names of Hashem. Um, you know, there's two different names listed here. It is also based on the two holy points, the uppermost and the lowest. This is the essential path of teshuva, the initial teshuva, and then teshuva on the teshuva, respectively, the teshuva of this world and the teshuva of the world to come. During the holy days of Elul, help us attain perfect teshuva and let the holiness of Elul be drawn into the entire year until we are able to follow the path of perfect teshuva at all times and walk all the pathways of teshuva perfectly all our days and forever. In your abundant kindness and mercy, accept all the different aspects and levels of our teshuva with love and fervor and enable us to search and examine our ways and return and rise towards Hashem for your right hand is stretched out to receive those who wish to return. During the nighttime meal on Rosh Hashanah, it is customary to make symbolic gestures for a good year. We dip the piece of challah upon which the blessing of Amosi was recited in honey. And after one has eaten the kezayis, he recites the following. May it be your will that, you're, that you renew for us a good and sweet year. Um, yeah. Um, following that. Following that. He dips a bit of sweet apple in honey and recites upon its blessing of Barakata Hashem, Elokinu Melech Alam, Gorpia Eats. It says here in the footnote, huge footnote, the honey does not require its own blessing as it exempted with the blessing on the apple. Gewalt. And then he. Recites again, the prayer may be your will that you renew for us a good and sweet year. Bezrat Hashem, Chavram, by all of us. We're going to do part two of this halacha tomorrow. Bezrat Hashem. And we're going to go. Tzchai um, Elul. Baal Shem Tov's birthday. I think it's also the birth of uh, Rav Shinir Zaman of Liadi. So we're going to learn one one Torah. We said Misa before, but it's also Misa. Um, on uh, from the Baal Shem Tov. Baal Shem Tov talks about learning from other people by observing others. What does it mean by observing others? The Mishnah states in Avot, who is wise? He who learns from every person. When you look into a mirror, you see your own blemishes. Think of other people as being your mirror. Kevin, this is a huge Torah. When you notice a defect or imperfection in someone else, that should tell you that you are tainted by the same shortcoming. For example, if someone is aware of adultery being committed, he must assume that he's also tarnished by a trace of the sin, namely that he is guilty of pride. For as sages equate haughtiness with the sin of adultery, or if a person observes, some, observe, observes someone worshiping idols, it is likely that he is guilty of a mild form of adultery, namely anger, for the sages compare anger to idol worship. Remember that heaven shows you these things in others in order that you search yourself and mend your ways. And this, I, I feel, may help and may uh, help us uh, understand a little bit more where Hafta Recha Kamocha is coming from. What do we know in other people? Mamash, we, we know a little bit a little bit about ourselves. By looking at other people, we could see ourselves. Mamash like the mirror. Seen on the screen. Bye. We should all be healthy, happy, and successful, fired up, 
the COVID Shabbos Kodesh. Happy birthday, Baal Shem. And uh, we should only hear good news. And we should also return to Hashem with perfect Shuvah.